Oh fam, so much new stuff going on every day. Just crazy. Bringing arms up today. Ton of orders to ship out. Uh, not as many today because we only had two people working yesterday, but a uh, lot, lot of orders going out and then just a bunch of stuff. I got to run up to Devin's place. I call him Devin the lift kit guy because he does all of our suspension stuff for every truck. We got to drop some upper and lower control arms off there for him for Rosine so that can get done because he's been waiting on me to take those up there so that he can get that thing buttoned up. It's just like a 45 minute drive from our house now, so it's one of those things where like Every day you're thinking, oh, this is gonna be a good day to do it. And then you're just like, an hour and a half to get up there, drop them off, drive back. Like, it's a lot of driving, you know? So then you get hog feed and chicken feed, then come back. So when we get back, we'll find out how much time we have to maybe do something with one of the trucks, I don't know. But we'll find out. I got a lot of errands to run right now, so let's get on the road. So something that's actually kind of cool is uh, for our Cadillac, right? I'm always finding new features on this thing. Like, when I bought it, I just bought it because I really liked the vehicle. And I thought, oh, it's, probably, it's really safe. It's big, it's super, you know, luxurious, you know, for Reagan, whatever. But like. It's got so many crazy little features that are just so cool and like so handy. You know how like a lot of newer cars, like anything from like 2010 or newer, have like tire pressure sensors and weird stuff like that, you know? Usually when you are trying to check the tire pressure sensor or the tire pressure on the gauge, you have to go in and out of the car, check it, in and out of the car, check it. That's assuming you're somebody that doesn't have an air tool that'll basically tell you what the PSI is every time you let off. It'll tell you the PSI reading. Mine has that, but I was airing up the tire because my Cadillac had one tire that was like 25. It's been there for like a week. So I'm like, okay, I just got to put air in the tire so I can just, the sensor can go away. Well, I'm like putting air in the tire and they're supposed to be at 35 PSI. So I'm like airing it up, airing it up, airing it up. And as soon as it hits 35 PSI on my gauge, on my tool, the car goes beep, beep. Like, and it like honks real loud twice. And then I get in the car and it says air pressure, you know, adequate. And I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. So in other words, the car honks at you as soon as it hits proper PSI so that you don't over air it. That's pretty cool. So we made it back to the house and we got the third gen here with a couple of things that we want to do here. Let's show you what we got going on. So first thing is um, the tailgate stopped opening and closing properly. So we're going to make sure we got it all fixed here now so um, essentially what was happening was I was pulling the handle and the tailgate was just nothing was happening like at all so we're gonna close it and see if it works I took the back metal plate here off it's laying right there that way I can access all the mechanism in here now it works close it everything works but essentially what was happening was I closed it one day and then it just didn't work. I mean, there, nothing was coming undone, nothing was unlatching. It was just staying closed. So, kind of sucked. But we're going to get the metal plate put back on and we're going to get on to installing some new tail lights. Sweet. Now we're going to get to replacing the tail lights. Let me show you the tail lights we got here. They say they're for 03 to 05 Dodge, so we'll find out. Every once in a while, you order tail lights that are for a specific range of years and models, and then they just don't work like the description. So hopefully, these are the correct wiring harness. It appears to be perfect. Here's the new tail lights. If you ask me, they look a lot better. This one installed first. Cool thing is, they gave you new hardware to fasten in the tail lights too. Because sometimes those screw heads just get all chewed up and they don't thread well. Bam. New tail lights. Now they don't look like the old ones, but that's the point. Here's the old ones. Next to the new ones. These are definitely darker. Those are definitely darker if you're going for that more completely blacked out look, but I think this is a good accent to go with it, especially with the light bars up in the front that have a little bit of chrome too. Let me start it up and back it out.
So that's all I had for the third gen today. Now, what I might do next is actually go get the resto gen, which is my personal truck, and swap out the headlights on that thing. <laughs> improved rigid industries this is gonna look so good now of course if you look at these old headlights the rest of the front end of this first gen besides the bumper and the headlights is in really good shape the grill is in awesome shape but these headlights have got to go I was driving the truck in the dark a few days ago and you just can't see anything these things are just old old halogens the light housing has water in it and it just doesn't look good and i think these headlights are going to really set off the appearance of this truck it's going to look really freaking sick so if you want to know where i got the inspiration for these i gave it away earlier already but that truck right there which is going to be going off to one of you guys very soon is the sole reason i even found out that these headlights existed and I'm putting them on this truck. Now, you're not supposed to bend these like that, but essentially how you install these is, um, there's already housing and this is like a retainer for the headlight to keep it in place. There's two screws on the top. You're supposed to take out the two top and the two bottom, I believe, but what I just did was just pulled the bottom down enough so I could pull the headlight out. I'm gonna set this in there, push it back up into place, fasten the two screws on top, pop the bezel back in, and that's all it is. So here's a side-by-side -side of the old headlights in the Rigid Industries. Clear lens, smoked housing headlight, LEDs. Thing looks so much better. Let's get that other side swapped out. Check that out I will leave a link for these in the description below as well as the taillights that I just put on the third gen um, just so that if you guys are wanting to pick these up you can pick them up through that link and by the way if you use that link down in the description below it also helps us out here on the channel because when you purchase stuff using the links that we provide, even though it's from Amazon, if you purchase using um, a link that we provide, it actually gives us some credit and gives us a small commission for all orders that we refer to them. So um, yeah, if you want to pick those up, links in the description, and it's also the cheapest place to buy them is on Amazon. They're the same rigid industries as you'll buy on any other site for these trucks. There's only one rigid industries. So if you want to pick those up, you might as well save a couple hundred bucks compared to some of the other sites that are asking stupid money for these. I think I paid $350 for these. Um, there's some websites where they're asking $450 or $550 for the same headlights. Same company, same brand, same everything, but you know, the name of where they're trying to sell them. But yeah, pick these up if you want them. Link in the description. Now let's flip these things on and see how they look. Check that out. Sweet. Well, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. It's highly appreciated. Comment down below. Let us know what your thoughts were. And if you want to enter to win this truck, we give away truck every month. This is the truck we're giving away this month. It's a 2004 5.9 Cummins, 3500. Awesome truck. And uh, it's going to be going off to one of you guys. So this is how easy it is to enter. You go to our website, lnpgear.com. You buy anything off the store, and every order automatically gets you more entries towards winning this truck. That's it. As soon as you click place order and you check out, 
you're automatically entered to win this truck plus $5,000 cash. The giveaway ends on November 11th. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.